It's The Lit Show with Jeremy Fee. New episode each Tuesday. Authors welcome. Comments encouraged. Hello everyone, welcome to The Lit Show. I'm your host, Jeremy Fee. As always, I've got something special for you today. It's an update for my most read authors tag. Have you ever wondered who's the author you've read the most books by? I certainly have. I made a video about 16 months ago in March of 2021 that was called Authors I've Read the Most Books By, but I love BookTube. BookTube was very helpful with me realizing that it would be much better to phrase it as most read authors. In fact, when I made the playlist for the video, I discovered that back in 2014 there was an original tag called most read authors. It was by Bookish Brits, which is a booktube channel that is now active again. It's the same idea that I had authors I've read the most books by. You can go on to Goodreads or Storygraph or something similar that you use to track your reading, and you can literally count through all the books you've read, how many books you've read by each author, and make a list. I think it's a fun challenge, and I am offering it as an open tag to all of you. I would love to hear who are the authors you've read the most books by let me know if you've already done this one then maybe like me you could do an update it's been 16 months since i made my video and i'm planning to do this probably each summer to give an update i do have three disclaimers or rules for my version of how i'm doing it but you can come up with your own requirements for your video when you want to do it my first one is my list is based on what i have marked in goodreads which i realize may have some errors. In fact, in the last 16 months I've updated a lot. I have remembered a lot of what I read growing up, which means my first video version of this was really inaccurate. I had miscounted some authors, there were a lot of books left off, that sort of thing. Number two, I'm not including RPG manuals and modules. If I did that, then this would be a very different list with a bunch of names that many of you are not familiar with. Number three, for comic books, I am only counting compiled volumes or anthologies, not individual issues. There are 64 different authors I've read five or more books by. Before we get going, I do want to point out a benefit of doing this list I've realized during the last year is an awareness that if you like an author, you really should read more by that author. I've gone out of my way to read more books by authors because I know I'm making this list and I've thought to myself, I want to be able to include that author next time I do an update for this. But it's also made me realize that if you like an author, you probably should read more books by that author, as many books as you can find eventually. And that's caused me to discover a lot of books that I really enjoyed reading in 2021 and 2022. All right, here we go. If you'd like to, feel free to go ahead and guess which authors you think will be on my list and where they will rank. Will they make it into my top 10? I'll do it like a countdown. But before the top 10, let's go with honorable mentions. I want to go ahead and include the authors I've read at least five books by. They'll be in alphabetical order by last name. I think probably next year when I update this, I'll start out with authors I've read at least 10 books by. But I wanted to include them this time with at least five books. So here we go. There are 26 authors I've read exactly five books by. The first is Kevin J. Anderson, who wrote a lot of Star Wars books that I read when I was growing up. Kevin J. Anderson has also helped with the Dune series with Frank Herbert's son, though I haven't read those. Next up is Aristotle, my favorite philosopher. I've read a lot of Aristotle's books, technically compiled, translated, and that sort of thing. Then we have James Jane Austen, who is a booktube favorite I know, so I'm happy to mention Jane Austen now, even though I did not participate in Jane Austen July this year. Next up is Lynn Reed Banks, the author of the Indian in the Cupboard series. I really enjoyed those books when I was growing up. Then we have Ray Bradbury. Very happy to have Ray Bradbury on this list, one of my favorite authors for science fiction. And then Charles Bukowski. I read a lot of Charles Bukowski's poetry books, but also Bukowski writes some novels that come across as very satirical and sassy as well. And then Jim Butcher. I am shocked I did not read any Jim Butcher in the last year. I have a lot of the Dresden Files books either on my shelf,
shelf or as audiobooks just waiting for me to read them. I also have the Codex Alera series by Jim Butcher that I need to read. Then we have Dane Cobain. I'm so happy to have discovered Dane Cobain's books. Dane Cobain is an awesome member of BookTube and AuthorTube. I'm guessing I will have read 10 books by Dane Cobain by this time next year. Then we have Leonard Cohen, the songwriter and poet. Leonard Cohen puts a lot of sexuality, a lot of sex into his writing. Up next is one of my all-time favorite authors, Alexander Dumas, the author of The Count of Monte Cristo, The Three Musketeers, and all the sequels to that. Then we have something from my childhood, the team-up of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. I don't know how many comic books I read by them growing up, but I have marked some volumes, some compilation anthologies by them for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Then we have William Faulkner, one of the great classics. I probably should read more Faulkner but I might not get Faulkner to 10 books by next year. And then we have another member of BookTube, Nicholas Gray, a.k.a. Spooky Noodles of Splatter Inc. Publishing, who's been coming out with a lot of short story anthologies. Up next is another classic, Dash Hill Hammett, the hard-boiled detective author who also wrote a lot of short stories. I've read all five of his novels. Up next is Grady Hendrix. I was very happy to discover his horror stories, novels, in the last few months. A lot of people on books you talk about Grady Hendrix mixes a lot of humor in with the horror. Then we've got Joe Hill, the famous son of Stephen King, who I just recently read a bunch of books by this last month. Then we have Rebecca Kwong, aka R.F. Kwong, amazing fantasy author. Technically, she's only published four books, but there was an extra story for the Poppy War series, which bumps this number up to five. Then we've got Fritz Lieber, one of my favorite classic fantasy authors who wrote great stories with roguish characters in them. Up next is Taylor Molly, one of my favorite poets, a slam poet I first encountered from the documentary Slam Nation. Really powerful poetry. And then Larry McMurtry, who wrote the Lonesome Dove series, as well as several other books that have been turned into movies that are very popular. And then Margaret Pinard, booktube and author tubes own one of my favorite writers I've read in the last year and a half with five books. This is one of those authors where I say you need to publish more books so you can jump up on this list. And then Patrick Rothfuss who definitely needs to publish more books give us the conclusion of the King Killer Chronicle. Patrick Rothfuss has also released some short stories and some children's books. Then William Shatner the actor most known for Star Trek who has released his not only autobiography graphical books, memoirs, but also his own series of science fiction stories and some Star Trek novels. That's followed up by one of the all-time best authors, J.R.R. Tolkien, famous for Lord of the Rings. Now, you might argue that Lord of the Rings is one book in three volumes, but I'm counting it as three books since it is published that way most of the time. And then Jack Vance, a man whose last name as an anagram can be Vecna, which was used for Dungeons and Dragons as a tribute to him for being one of the best classic fantasy authors. And the last one on this section is Kurt Vonnegut Jr. I love the satirical writing and the wit that Vonnegut uses in his books. Next up, there are 10 authors I've read six books by in alphabetical order, as are the rest of these. We start with William Gibson, the author of Neuromancer of the Sprawl series. William Gibson is well known as what people call the father of cyberpunk. And then the author of Dune, the Dune series, Frank Herbert. I've really enjoyed the various TV and film adaptations of Dune. Then we've got Robert E. Howard, famous for Conan the Barbarian, as well as several other characters which leads us to George R. R. Martin, the author of A Song of Ice and Fire. George R. R. Martin has written a lot in addition to the Game of Thrones series, though. He, he wrote a lot of science fiction and fantasy back in the day. He's got a vampire novel. He puts together as an editor a lot of short story collections. And then we get to another great poet, Anas Mojani. I've got several books by that poet. Really interesting, different poets 
poetry with good storytelling. And next is Sylvia Moreno Garcia, one of my new favorite writers. She's written so many great books. Mexican Gothic is probably the most well known of those. Then we get to the American classic Mark Twain. It's such a great wit with The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer, and all those other great American classics. Books that are often banned because of the controversial issues they deal with in American history. After that, we've got a great science fiction author, Martha Wells, who wrote the Murderbot series. I've read the first six in that series. I know the series is up to nine at this point, so there's a chance that this author will make it into uh, 10 or more books I've read by next year. After that is Joss Whedon, the man behind Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Firefly, and a lot of other great TV series and some movies such as The Avengers. Joss Whedon is also a comic book author. Then we've got another one of my favorite slam poets, performance poets, Saul Williams. He may be the most powerful performance poet out of all the po- out of all the poets that I've listened to. The next list has five authors that I have read seven books by. We've got Pierce Brown, well known for his series that he needs to finish, which is supposed to have six books in it, the Red Rising series. He's published five of those six, but we've also got some graphic novels, comic books that have prequels for them. And then Brett Easton Ellis, the author infamously known for American Psycho. His books are not usually listed as being part of a series, but they are. They're all interconnected with various characters who cross over throughout the different books. And by the last couple of books, he got very meta with including himself in the story and that sort of thing. A fictional version of himself. Up next is B.K. Greenwood, a very kind author who has been sending me autographed copies of his books, which I really appreciate. He's got historical fantasy novels with immortals in them, a lot of religious concepts. It's a lot of fun to read. And then the next one on the list is Edgar Allan Poe. This one is a difficult one to count because of all the different collections of short stories and poetry. I'm not sure if it's accurate for me to say it's at exactly seven on this list. It's possible I've read more that Edgar Allan Poe should get credit for. And then we have J.K. Rowling from the Harry Potter series. I read the Harry Potter books. That makes it to seven on the list. Up next, we've got five authors. There's I've read nine books by. The first one's one of my all-time favorites, Douglas Adams. When I was a teenager, I feel like these books changed my life for the better. The wit, the sarcasm, the great humor that was mixed in with the science fiction. In addition to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, I also really like the Dirk Gently Detective series. Then we've got a couple classic authors, F. Scott Fitzgerald, most famously known for The Great Gatsby, which I know a lot of people have to read for school, and they hate that they have to read it for school, but I argue if they go back and read it for fun, they might enjoy it more. And then Ernest Hemingway, an author who's got a minimalist style that I absolutely love. Uh, Not only his novels, but his short stories as well. After them, we've got Anne Rice. I I know absolutely that Anne Rice is going to be jumping up on this list for next year, because I plan to finish reading The Vampire Chronicles and then go back and read her other novels as well. And the last author in this section is Quentin Tarantino. Back in my 20s especially, I really enjoyed reading the screenplays from his films. He does such a great job with dialogue. There are three authors I've read 10 books by. They are Gardner F. Fox, who wrote both the Kothar the Barbarian series and the Kyrick the Barbarian series, though he's also probably most famously known for his comic books and graphic novels. Then we've got C.S. Lewis. In addition to reading the Chronicles of Narnia, I've also read his Space series. Very interesting. Then Margaret Weiss, who usually teams up with Tracy Hickman. Humorously, when I was a kid, I thought Tracy Hickman was a woman. I didn't bother looking it up. You know, it didn't occur to me that there are men named Tracy as well. Though sometimes Margaret Weiss will team up with someone else, maybe Don Perrin or a different fantasy author. Most well known for the Dragonlance Chronicle the Dragonlance series. Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman actually have a new book coming out in August, a new Dragonlance series going. 
And that's it for the honorable mentions. Now we're going to get to the top 10. In 10th place, there is a three-way tie for the authors I have read 11 books by. We've got John Grisham, who writes those legal thrillers, many of which have been turned into popular films. I really enjoy those books. Then we've got John Scalzi, one of my favorite science fiction authors, who wrote the Old, Old Man's War series and the Interdependency series, as well as plenty of books that bring in humor with science fiction. And then Gertrude Chandler Warner, who wrote The Boxcar Children. When I was a little kid in elementary school, I don't know for sure how many Boxcar Children books that I read, but I think it was around 11. I think that's a fair number to put in there. Though who knows, maybe I've forgotten I read a lot more of them. Because you could get those at those little scholastic book fairs. In ninth place, there's a two-way tie for authors I've read 12 books by. We've got Dr. Seuss. That's right, another children's book author. These books were a lot of fun, I remember, when I was a kid. And they have really remained in our popular culture. And then the next one may shock you that it's this low on my list. And that's Agatha Christie. I plan to read more books by Agatha Christie. She should be moving up on this list into a higher place for next year. She She's written so many books, who knows, maybe someday she'll be number one on the list. And then in eighth place, there's one author I've read 13 books by, and that's Neil Shusterman. I really like Neil Shusterman's writing. He's one of my favorite young adult science fiction authors. The Scythe series, the Unwind series, and several standalone books like Dry. In seventh place, there's one author I've read 14 books by, and that is Gary Gygax. Last year, Gary Gygax was number one in my original video for this, though I had miscounted. But if you include role-playing books, RPG manuals and modules, I've read about 55 books by Gary Gygax. He really should be at the top of the list if I was going to count everything I've read. In sixth place, there's a two-way tie for authors I've read 15 books by. We've got Chuck Palahniuk, famous for Fight Club, Choke, and a lot of really weird books. Then we've got Brandon Sanderson. I know I'm going to read more by Brandon Sanderson in the coming year because I supported his big Kickstarter, which shockingly raised $45 million, the number one Kickstarter of all time. And I'm getting four books from that Kickstarter. But I have a bunch of Brandon Sanderson novels on my shelf just waiting to be read. In fifth place, there's a two-way tie for authors I've read 18 books by. We've got Robert Jordan, the author of The Will of Time series, Series, as well as several Conan the Barbarian books. We've also got R.A. Salvatore, my favorite author from the Forgotten Realms. R.A. Salvatore has written over 30 books for the Drist series, and he's written a bunch more. He's another author that I have a bunch more books on my shelf by that I should read at some point, hopefully in the next year, which is going to bump his number up a lot as well, I assume. In fourth place, we've got one author I've read 19 books by, and that's Alan Dean Foster. He writes a lot of film novelizations as well as his own books, which are really good. A lot of it is science fiction. Some of it kind of a mix of science fiction and fantasy. If you've not read his novelization of Alien, I highly recommend it. And when it comes to Star Wars, the newer publications are treating him like a ghost writer, and now it just says Star Wars by George Lucas, sadly. But you used to be able to buy the books with his name on it, giving him credit for writing the novelization. In third place, there's one author I've read 23 books by, and I bet you're not going to guess who it is, even though it's in my top three, and you would think that I had talked about it at some point on BookTube, but I haven't. It's Jolly R. Blackburn, who wrote the Knights of the Dinner Table comic books, and they have been compiled together from the comic strips and the comic book adventures into larger volumes and believe it or not, they have published at least 23 volumes, I believe there are more, of Knights of the Dinner Table. Such a wonderful, funny comic strip. If you enjoy role-playing games and that sort of stuff, I highly recommend it. In second place, there's one author I've read 28 books by, and I bet you could have guessed this one. It's Stephen King. 
Stephen King is such an amazing author. I love the horror stories. And you know a lot of his work. They've turned into films and or TV miniseries adaptations. I cannot believe that last year I forgot to include Stephen King on the list. So he really jumped up for this update. When I was putting books into Goodreads, I didn't really think about it. It wasn't until I heard other people talking about Stephen King that I realized I needed to go back and do that. Can you guess who my first place author is? The author I've read the most books by. It's 39 books for first place. The most famous author in the world, I assume. It's William Shakespeare. That's right. I have studied all of William Shakespeare's plays and the collected book of Shakespearean sonnets for his poetry. Of course, Shakespeare's not going to be publishing any more books, so Shakespeare is stuck at 39 total, I believe, which means all I have to do is read one Stephen King book a month for the next year, and Stephen King will easily surpass pass William Shakespeare on this list. But I think it's great that Shakespeare is here as a number one for my update this year. Were you surprised by my list? Do you have any guesses on how it's going to change for next year for the update? Which authors do you think are going to be hopping up into better rankings on my list? Also, are there any authors you think are going to appear on my list next year that aren't already there? I love having such an informed awareness of what I've read. I highly recommend that you do this tag, this challenge. I believe it is very much worth it. It also was really nice that it made me think more throughout the last 16 months about what I was reading and adding in more books by authors that I like. I know there are some authors that I want to include for next year, and if my goal is to only talk about authors I've read 10 or more books by, then that means I need to go back and make sure I read more books by those authors, which is great motivation for my reading. That's it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it every day, but especially Tuesdays. Every Tuesday is a good Tuesday. Tuesday for a book talk. Peace.